。我叫 Christina， 谢谢。您好，我叫 Christina， 谢谢。您好 means hello， 你 means you， 你 say you。你好 means good. Say good. 好 Say hello. 你好你好我叫我 means I. 我我 Say I. 我叫 means to call. 叫叫我叫 Christina means I am Christina. Say I am. 我叫 Now you turn introduce yourself. 你好，我叫。Christina, again. 你好，我叫 Christina. 谢谢 means thank you. 谢谢 Now you just learned how to say hello and basic introduction. Let's go. If you want to say hello to a friend. Simply, you say, 你好 Then you will answer, 你好 Look like this. 你好你好 Did you see that? One more. 你好你好 It's great. But in China, here's another one for greeting. 你吃了吗？你吃了吗？你 means you. 你你 say you. 你吃 means eat. 吃吃 say eat. 吃吃了 means Have eaten. 吃了 Say have eaten. 吃了你吃了吗？吗 Just like a Christian mug. It's very light. Say 吗吗你吃了吗 Means have you eaten? 你吃了吗？ Say, have you eaten? 你吃了吗 Great. In China, as many ways say the greeting, here's another one. 你去哪儿？你去哪儿？你 remember means you. 你 say you. 你去 means go. 去去 say go. 去哪儿 means where. 哪儿哪儿 say where. 哪儿你去哪儿 means where are you going. It just means same like English. What's going on? 你去哪儿 say what's going on. 你去哪儿 Great. Now, some common greeting in Chinese. Also, you can say this. 你吃了吗
你去哪儿？你好 ，or 你好吗 ？Right? Let's review. Say hello. 你好 ，Say how are you? 你好吗 ？Say have you eaten? 你吃了吗 ？Say where's going on? 你去哪儿 ？Great. Now listen to the following conversation. 你好吗？我很好，你呢？我也很好。你好吗？你好 ，which is learn means hello. Ma is like a Christian mark, remember? So 你好吗 means how are you? 你好吗 ？Say how are you? 你好吗？我很好，你呢？我很好。我 means I。我，我 ，say I。我很，很 means very。say very。很。好 means good. Say good. 好，很好 means very good. 很好 ，say very good. 很好，我很好。Literally say I'm very good. Then you can say I am fine. 你呢？呢 ？We use at the end sentence. 你呢 ？Means and you. 你呢？你呢 ？Say and you. 你呢 ？The whole sentence will be like that. 我很好。你呢？ Say, I am fine, and you? 我很好，你呢 ？Then you can simply answer, 我很，我也很好。也 means also. 也，也，我也很好。Say, I am fine too. 我也很好 Let's review. Say, How are you? 你好吗 Say, I am fine. And you? 我很好你呢 Say. I am fine too. 我也很好 Great. Now you just learned basic and greeting in Chinese. But when someone asks you 你好 you can answer 我很好 It means very, I'm very good. 好 Right now, let's see the new word. We just learned 我 Wo means I. Say I. Wo. Wo. But I want to say, how about the we? We add this column. Men. Men. Wo men. 我们 ，What we can ask him? 我很好。我
我们很好 We are fine 我们很好 Say we are fine 我们很好 This is called we just learn 你 means you 你 say you 你 and you the plural mean 你们 你们 你们好吗? How about you? 你们好吗? Now we learn another word. This is called 他 It means he. 他 他 Say he. 他 We want to become they are. 他们, 他们, 他们好吗? In Chinese, this is also called the ta. The pronunciation is same, but the this one is represent like a boy. This like a girl. We want they are ta men ta men. So these two is pronunciation should be the exactly same. Say ta 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 men ta men ni men. 你们 我们, 我们 Repeat after me 我们很好 我们很好 We are very good We are fine 他们很好 他们很好 mean they are fine 你们好吗? 你们好吗? Good Now we just reviewed we can use the 你 Pronoun 你, 你, 我, 他们, or are you okay, or are you fine, or are they okay, right? Let's review from beginning to so far we learn. Say hello. 你好. Say how are you? 你好吗? Say, I am fine. 我很好. Say, 他们好吗? Are they fine? 他们好吗? Great. Now you can use it. Please keep practicing. But listen the following phrases. 早上好 means good morning. 早上 means morning. 好, remember we just learned means good. 早上好 早上好 Say good morning. 早上好 晚上好 means good evening 晚上好 
晚上 means evening. 晚上, 晚上. 再见, 再见 means goodbye. 再见, say goodbye. 再见. Also, we can say 谢谢, thank you, thank you, 谢谢, 对不起, I am sorry, 对不起, 对不起, say I am sorry. 对不起 Then you simply will say 没关系 没关系 That's all right 没关系 See, that's all right 没关系 Great We just learned all about in common greeting in Chinese. Let's review. Say, good morning. 早上好. Say, good evening. 晚上好. Say, goodbye. 再见. Say, Thanks. 谢谢. Say, I'm sorry. 对不起. Say, that's all right. 没关系. Great. Please keep in practice. Um, feel a culture review. Please note. Everyone note. The Chinese is, is, is kind of a, a pictographic language. So each Chinese word is made of Chinese character, just what I write on the board. So the principle of writing of a Chinese character are basic from left to right, top to bottom. For example, 你 means you, we just learn from left to the right. Left, right. For example, how we just learn good. It's also from left to the right. I also say it's from top to bottom. For example, 我 means I. From top to the bottom. Just like the simple, right? One more, like a zao, morning. From the top to the bottom. Great. Now take a moment, look closer about Chinese culture. This is April Whiteside at the Maker Fair in Decatur. We're going to take a closer look into Chinese calligraphy. Let's take a look. Well, Chinese uh, calligraphy has a long history, almost two th over 2,000 years. Uh, all these different styles originated from a different dynasty and times. Basically matching the specific political and social fashion and taste. Uh, and of course, like any other form of art, it has its own development path. You know, arts change with the, with the time, with, the, yeah, with people's life change. 
they changed. That's why they're, and the, the new style came out, but the people still keep the old, still practice the older style. That's why there are so many styles exist, co coexisting now. There are five major styles in Chinese calligraphy. Zhen, Zhen is, is like a standard or regular style. It's, it's like, a, it's, it's closest to the English word print. Like you print your name, right? So that's why the standard style is, is for official document writing. And it's the basic style, the standard style. Uh, second style is called Cao. That means cursive. And you know cursive means it started from people start writing faster, rush out something. That's, that's what it came from. Because it's more personality, so it's not good for communication, writing letter. So these days, uh, for, for this cursive is mainly for the arts, for the decorating arts. Uh, third style is is called Li. Li is a is a in English translation they, they call it clerical style. It's kind of like a standard style, but it, it was for the official documents from Han Dynasty, so about 1, 1,500 years ago. But then after that is 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 again is more like using for the for the signs, the tags, it's decorating purpose and calligraphy art purpose. So it's not no more using for the communication or or documents. Um, and then then it's the Zhuan is the fourth one is called Zhuan. Zhuan is translated to the seal style. Seal, the official seal. The reason they call the seal style is because in the last several decades it's mainly used for for carving seal. You put print it on the right on the on the stone or wood and carve it. So that's why this is called the seal style. But actually, it was originally from Qin Dynasty. That's two thousand years ago. At that time, it was is just for regular document writing. So, and the last one, there's uh, it's called uh, Xing. Xing is a semi. You can translate semi cursive. It's kind of between the standard and the cursive. It it write you can write much faster than standard, but it's still recognizable. It's readable. So it's, it's faster to write than the standard, but it's easier to read than the cursive. So that's kind of between, and to play the two functionality also. You can communicate with that, and you can write it for the decorating purpose. So this is most commonly used is the, is the Xin style. You know, different the Chinese character will be formed differently. And if you write in a different way, they have a several different ways to write a Chinese character. And we call it the Zhen Cao Li Zhuan. And also, you know, the, the calligraphers stroke, they using different uh, uh, brush, like uh, using different uh, the pen, and also the, the density of the ink can affect the, the influence of the writing. And also the speed, and acceleration of the pen and also when you're trying to stroke and the speed and also the direction you change or the the way you're writing can affect the character okay so and also uh, you know the Chinese character can be affected by the emotion so if the different people have a different emotion they could write in a different way, okay? So if you're very happy and if you're very, you know, like a very bright, and you can write is very fluent and the smooth of the Chinese character, that means maybe you are go to the detail. So that will be affected the Chinese, uh, you know, the, the result of the, the Chinese character. And also the, the strength and the, 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 the density of the ink, like, a, you know, you, you put more water in the ink, or maybe you have a stick uh, pens, but the pens are soft is uh, differently, can affect differently. Uh, in ancient China, officials are selected by court exams, and the writing is very important part of the exam. Uh, in order to be excel in the exam, 
uh, what you write, how you write it, is almost as important as what you write. Anyone can practice. Uh, maybe in the very ancient time, only those um, like scholars and officials they can they can practice. But now, anyone can practice, and even it's easier now because there are lots of information on how to learn on, over the internet. Great. How's the show? Thank you for joining. It's difficult, but keep on practicing, you will be getting better and better. In next lessons, we will learn more about introduction. For example, like 你好,你叫什么,认识你,很高兴, and nice to meet you too also. Thank you for joining. Keep on practicing, until next time. 欢迎来学汉语,下次见。<音楽>